Grand Rising, or Kings and Queens, or Gods and Goddesses, or Beautiful People, I am B. Floss the God, and today I just want to speak briefly about penetrating the facts. Alright, penetrating the facts. And what do I mean by penetrating the facts? Alright, first of all, the word penetrating, right? It means to force your way into something or through something. Alright, successfully. Okay, so to penetrate the facts in order to manifest your every desire, right? Now, the facts is anything that you can see with the naked eye, all right, in this 3D reality. Okay, so let's say right now you are broke, you are poor, you have no money. That is a fact. Let's say you are single, but your desire is to be in a relationship. Being single is a fact. Let's say you want to move to a different country, right? That's your desire to move to a different country. But at the, very, at the present moment, you are not there. You, you're in your own um, country at the, at the present moment. Being in your own country at the present moment is a fact. All right? Now, this is where the difference now between the natural man and the spiritual man come into play. The natural man sees things as they are. The spiritual man sees things for what they could be. The spiritual man operates on a higher level, you know, fourth dimensionally, where the natural man just operates from the 3D reality. The natural man um, lets the world, is governed by the world, rather than governing the world himself rather than taking charge of his own mind and thoughts and words and creating his, his own world. The spiritual man does that. Alright, now, penetrating the facts. Now, this is where the tools, right, and the techniques come into play, such as scripting and affirmations and imaginal acts. Right? When you, once you can close your eyes, and see yourself as the man and the woman that you would like to be, that you desire to be. See yourself where you desire to be, right? See yourself having what it is you desire to have in first person when you're using your imaginal acts, right? The more you rep and you create a short scene, right? Which implies that you already are walking in the wish fulfilled or that you already have your desires, right? Whatever that scene may be, whatever it is you desire, only you know and you can create it. Just a very short scene, right? That you have successfully um, attained your desire. As long as you can go into your imagination and you repeat that that scene over and over and over again, right? And feel the thrill of it. All right, that is penetrating the facts. So let's say you are broke right now. But you desire, let's say, $10,000, $50,000, or a million dollars. It doesn't matter how much it is. And you create a scene within your own wonderful human imagination. Let's say you create a scene where you, you're talking to a friend on, his, on your phone. Or you're talking to him in person or her. And they're congratulating you on your success. And you hear them. You hear their voice congratulating you on your success. And you reply to them saying thank you or whatever it is you say. Right? And re you repeat that scene over and over again until you feel the thrill and you come out of it. That is penetrating the facts. Right? And you do this on a, on a daily basis and walk in also in the assumption, right? That what you have seen in the higher dimension, the fourth dimension in your imagination, right? That it will come to pass in its own due time. Right? That is penetrating the facts. Looking past things for what they are and seeing them for how you want them to be. That's what the spiritual man and woman does. And it does not matter what, what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. Right? It can happen. It can manifest in this 3D reality. So if you're in the United States and you want to go to Egypt, right? Go into your imagination. Or speak it, affirm it. Your words have power as well. Once you can, and these are the gifts that were given to us as as men in this human body. Well, that's what we are: mind and speech. 
right? You can see it, create things in your mind. You can speak it into existence because that is how this whole world, uh, this whole vast world was created. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Call things that are not seen into being. Right? That is the power that we have. Each and every one of us. And none of us is greater than the other. We all have that power within. Right? So penetrating the facts is seeing things beyond what they are. Right? Seeing them for what you want them to be. If you are sick right now, that is a fact. You desire to be healthy, you can penetrate the facts. By scripting about it daily, affirming it, speaking it, or imagining it every single day. Hearing a friend um, congratulate you on your success, whatever it might be. You know, you're speaking it into existence that I am already successful. I am healthy. I am unconditional love. I am happily and blissfully married. I am living in my new luxurious home, wherever the place might be. And you continue to repeat this over and over until you feel the thrill. And when you're finished, you know, you feel at peace. If you don't feel at peace when you're finished, well then go over and do it again. So when you finish, you feel at peace and satisfaction like, yeah, it's like you already have it. Right? Because you actually went there consciously to wherever it is that you desire. Or, the, or being the person that you, you, you desire to be in this 3D reality, right? You went there consciously. But after you come out of the act, it's like you're back here now in this 3D reality, right? But the more you do that, the more you go into that fourth dimension where everything is created, where everything lies, where everything dwells, right? And you continue to repeat it and walk in that assumption, right? You will penetrate the facts, in this world and bring whatever is up here down here in this triviality in this 3d reality where it can be seen with the naked eye all right and that is where a lot of us tend to stumble right because like we go based on what we see by the naked eye most of the time even if we are spiritual or not sometimes we tend to waver like when circumstances happen and we might be affirming the thing and we might not be seeing changes at the particular time that we would like it to be. Right? And then we tend to give up. Right? But our higher selves has means and ways of doing things that we know not of on this physical level. Right? But just because we can't see it right here with the naked eye, it doesn't mean that it's not um, taking place. It doesn't mean that things aren't being rearranged for us. Because from the moment you have a desire, and your desire is God speaking to you. Whatever that desire may be, that is God speaking to you. As long as you can assume, right? And to assume means to um to tell yourself a, like a particular story about whatever it is that you desire, right? Even though you can't see it with the naked eye. Right? You're assuming it even though there's no proof of it or no evidence of it as yet. Right? Your desire is God speaking to you. And when you have that desire and you act upon it, you're already assuming that you are that thing or that you have that thing or you have that person, whatever it is. Alright? And once you can do that, you have already started to penetrate the facts. So if you're broke right now and you you desire to be rich. And from at that very present moment, you tell yourself, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich. You know, I am rich. Or something, some type of affirmation to, um, some type of affirmation that shows that, you know, that you are a rich right now, that says that you are the man that already has, or you already you are the man and the woman that already has that amount of money you desire. Right? By repeating that affirmation over and over again, you are penetrating the facts. And eventually, it will harden into fact in this 3D reality. So persistence is key, like don't give up. Walk in the assumption until it hardens into fact. Alright, so if you want to do it multiple times a day, 
whatever technique it is you use, it's okay. If you want to do it just once a day, again, it's okay, but just make an effort to do it every single day. As long as you're walking in the wish fulfilled, as long as you can feel it. Right? So at any time you feel like you're slipping or you don't feel as though you already have that thing, right? But then you know, resort back to the techniques. That's what the techniques are there for, to help us, to keep us into the state of the wish fulfilled. All right? So that's what the techniques are there for, to help us to penetrate the facts. And again, the facts are what you can see with the naked eye in this 3D reality. And to penetrate them, you go to a higher dimension, which is in your own wonderful human imagination. You script about it, you speak about it, you envision it. What you desire, what um, what you desire it to be. And with that, you can change it. Rather than acting like the normal man, right, and accepting things for as how they are. No, we all have the power to change things the way we want it to be. By persisting, right, in the assumption. All right. So I just hope this brief message was of help to you. All right. And if you're penetrating to the facts on a daily basis and you aren't and you haven't seen anything hardening to fact as yet, it doesn't mean that things aren't working. Things are working. Trust me. Right. Trust me. This is the whole year now that you have um, set the intention for for one or two things and I haven't seen them in this three D reality as yet. But I see the signs. You know, signs follow. They don't proceed. You know. But I refuse to give up because I know for a fact that I am whatever it is that I desire to be. I already have what it is that I desire. I speak it every day, I affirm it every day, and I walk in that assumption boldly. So even if it takes a year or two, I don't care. I'm going to have it. It's done. It's finished. And it's done and it's finished for you as well. All right? So don't give up. Don't quit. Keep going. All right? Penetrate the facts. In this world, this world is like a slave to us. We are the master. We are the boss. We are in charge of our own destiny. Don't let nobody tell you different. Don't let circumstances trick you. Penetrate the facts. Keep envisioning it. Keep speaking it. Keep writing about it. All right? I am. Be floss to God. Send you love, peace, joy, prosperity, and blessings. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Feel free to like. Feel free to comment. Feel free to share my videos as well. All right? Send you peace and love. A happy manifesting.